Hello everybody and my name is Namely Not and this is the tutorial on how to use um the maker pen and the new update. So yeah, I've already been making something and I'll be showing you. So they got rid of the group thing, so how do you group things together? Might be your first question. <laughs> As I'm just making everything just a wee different. So, what I'm making is a battle kind of diorama. And one useful thing is the clone option. One moment. Long hair, hair and VR do not go together. Well, the clone option is very simple. You just do that, and the move option is just how it sounds. This is what I made a little bit before I started and I finished it. It's just a flag, a lot of cloning and I actually grouped some of the stuff. So once I finish the head, it shouldn't be that hard. And all the little details. I can group them together and I'll show you how in a moment. These are Indians. It's, it's an Indian tribe. looks kind of weird. Since he's an Indian, he gets feathers.
There's no symmetry option yet, but I would like to see that. So now I gotta make him a face. Shouldn't be that hard. Um, no. If I downscaled that by Oh, jeez. I could then recolor it. Actually, don't clone it yet. The recolor tool is very useful if you accidentally made something the wrong color. You see how it was white? Well, now it's black. And if we clone it... Now we have two of them. That is quite annoying when it does that. Now if I clone it again we can scale this Zoinks. He's mad. Okay, no, no, no. Jeez. What? <laughs> what? What the heck? Well, what a convenience. I can resize the body. That's much better. If things are being annoying, just use the move option and you can get into tight spaces without grabbing anything else.
There we go, some eyes. I mean, of course, we're gonna add pupils. And a nose. Let's add the nose now. Oh, she. Um... Yeah, no mouse. Forget the nose. That's just making it look creepy. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. I'm going to do that. I didn't have to do that, but okay. Again. You could also just do things like that. There we go. We're gonna give him eyebrows. And the move thing is very useful. You see, he's mad. He has a unibrow, <laughs> a unibrow. So, okay. So this is our guy. Well, first we gotta, of course, give him a mouth. Don't worry, the scale thing could fix these two. There. It's kinda weird, but done. So now, is one singular thing. You just make the thing that you want to group together and um, then you press done and he becomes a singular thing. That's it for this tutorial and I hope you have a great day. Bye.